Hey everybody, welcome to my second shoulder pad tutorial. Today I would like to show how I make a Nurgle icon on a Chaos shoulder pad. The materials I used are standard green stuff, already mixed, my custom made sculpting tools, my favorite silicone clay shapers, size 0, and also a couple ball pointed tools. Those ball pointed tools will help you to create the typical Nurgly holes on the shoulder pad for the icon and also helps you to create the rotten rusted texture later. You can see me cutting a little ball of green stuff. I take the ball of green stuff and start spreading him over the shoulder pad. That will give me a nice foundation to start working on. Okay, our foundation layer is done. Now I take my ball pointed tool and start pressing it into the green stuff and create the typical three holes for the Nurgle icon. I try to create the rotten roster texture by pressing the ball pointed tool into the fresh green stuff. This is a good way to achieve the organic look. The first part is done. You could leave it like that if you like to. But I will go on and show you some more little tricks. I use some more green stuff. I roll a little sausage. And cut several little pieces out of the sausage. I think the diameter is less than 1 mm to 1 mm. And always remember, keep your tools wet, that's very important. Now I take a little piece of green stuff with my clay shaper, put it to my hand and use my clay shaper to roll a little square. Now it's time to add the little balls to the green stuff. Those will create the boils they are typically for the nurgly look. We have added all the little balls to the shoulder pad and achieved a more nurgly look now. That looks good. It's okay, you could leave it like that, but it's not enough. We will do something more. I cut three more little pieces of green stuff. Rolling some balls out of them and place them into the three big holes on the shoulder pit. Now I will try to make three weird looking eyes using the three little balls I placed into the three holes.
the three balls are in the right place. Now I can go on. Again, you could leave it like that, but it's not enough. Using a flat scoping tool, I try to create the shape of an eye. I press the green stuff gently into the corners and try not to destroy my prepared details. For finer details I use a needle tool. And also the silicone clay shaper. The silicone clay shaper I used to soften out the green stuff balls because the eyes are very soft and round. And the best way to do it is using the clay shaper. The eyeballs are soft now. Taking again my needle tool and working on the eyelids. Because by using the silicone clay shaper the eyelids are not in the right place anymore and now I try to bring them back into the right position. This is how the finished shoulder pad looks. We achieved a really nice looking nurgly shoulder pad. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.